Father, please flourish our heart with genuine love that will benefit other people and me. Also, let the demonstration of our love result to the glorification of your name. Let our love be selfless, impartial, truthful, and fruitful. For in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, Father, make everything work for our good. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Thursday, October 10, 2024. This is Love Word, the key you opened heaven, a guide to close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah is an heaven language. Hallelujah song when it passes to her mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is love for God. Love for God. I mean, first time we find the book of Matthew 22, verse 37. I read Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord, that God with all the heart, and with all the soul, and with all the mind. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love. The Lord, that God, with all the heart, and with all the soul, and with all the mind. Occasionally, I wonder, do I still love God like I used to? Was there a time when I loved Him more than I do now? In the past, many of us were willing to do anything for Him. We were hungry to please Him at whatever cost, and Him to everything we had next to him. I remember the days when we used to have Bible study leader retreats and we would take offering from the offering. You will know that if the congregation had more, they would willingly give more. One brother gave his best because he didn't have any money to give. How is your love for God now? Is it greater or less than it was before? There are people who, when they got born again, could dance vigorously during praise and worship, not caring if anyone was looking at them. Now, they can't even shout hallelujah at the top of their voice. No matter how big a fellow is, or she is nothing before God, if a person is too big to dance for him, can decide to show that fellow how small he or she really is. One day, I asked her, Lord, David did a lot of terrible things, even more than so, yet you know. And you said, David was a man after your heart, why you rejected Saul? I know that you are not partial, but I am curious to know why. He responded, What did David do in 2 Samuel 6 verse 14? I replied, he danced with all his might. Then he asked, Can you show me a place in the Bible where Saul danced for me? That was really when I knew why God rejects Saul. It is not so much about dancing, rather, it is about the heart of a man after God has raised him to be. David's love for God increased as he went higher, while Saul's love reduced. As he went higher, which of these two are you? If a believer's love for God is reducing, such a believer is not far off from offending him, and that might result in God rejecting the fellow. If you don't believe me, read Philippians 1, verse 9 to 10. I read, And this I pray, that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge, and in all judgment, that ye may appropriate things that are excellent, that he may be sincere and without offering or offending, that ye may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ. May your love for God keep increasing for the rest of your life, in Jesus' name. But then, I want us to read the book of Psalm 63 verse 1 to 8, and our Bible in one year. Matthew 25, verse 26. Our hymn 
33. Take my life and let it be. Take my life and let it be. Our prayer point for today. Father, please let my love for you abound more and more every day in Jesus' name. Father, please let my love for you abound more and more every day in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother, this is Love World. Tell your comment with tomorrow. Don't forget. Subscribe to the channel. Click on the like button. Share with your friends and family. And goodness of God will never leave your life. Have a nice day. And bye for now. God bless you. Happy Thursday. And happy new day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.